Hello everybody and welcome to Midway High School's Virtual Meet the Teacher. My name is Keisha Gorham and I'm the Forensic Science teacher here. And before I get into some of the course information, I just wanted to share a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Northern Minnesota and uh, moved down here to attend Baylor University. And while at Baylor, I earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Anthropology with an emphasis in Forensics. And upon graduation, I was hired at the Waco Police Department as a 911 dispatcher and eventually became a member of the Crime Scene Unit. A um, few years later, I got my teaching certificate and now I'm in my 17th year at Midway ISD. I spent the first nine years at Midway Middle School as a science teacher and now I'm in my eighth year here at the high school. I moved over here to the high school to start the forensic program and every day since then has been amazing getting to share my experiences with the students and um, teach them about how what we're learning really has some real life applications and some opportunities to help those in our community. I'm married to my husband, William. We have four children, William. Kaylee, Raylan, and Lily, and I'm also a chemistry teacher. If you have any questions about the class syllabus, um, that kind of lists some of the areas of studies we're doing. If you have any questions about my schedule or tutorial schedule and when you can contact me and all that stuff, best place to look for that is in Schoology in the folder that says course materials. Uh, I highly recommend that if you have not signed up to view your student's Schoology account that you take care of that because that's where a lot of information is and you can kind of see what they're doing and when they're doing it. Like I said, Schoology is super important. I have a folder for every day of school with assignments in it. Um, if Hack shows that your student is missing an assignment and it isn't past the time of acceptance, then you can go to the assigned date um, that folder for the assigned date in Schoology and that assignment should be there and they should be able to take care of that. If they are out on a day that we have a test or a quiz, those are only being given at school, so they will need to make that up with me when they return. Uh, forensic science uh, follows the general grading policy, so it's the 30% practice, 30% application, and 40% evaluation. If you are seeing your student has lots of missing work or they're bringing home assignments, uh, they're probably not using their time that I give them in class. I try my hardest to make sure that they do not have homework and that we complete stuff in class. Um, so if that becomes an issue, just let me know. All right, so as far as late work, if your student is at school, then they are being held to the late work policy. And you can see that there, it's also on page 41 of the student handbook. If for some reason your student has to be out for an extended amount of time, like I mentioned earlier, Schoology is set up in a way that they could still complete their work on an online format. I have, like I said, I've already had some students have to do that and they did a really good job being able to keep caught up. Um, if for some reason they're not feeling well, if they could just communicate that with me just so I know um, that that's why work is not being completed, that would be awesome. Um, and then when they're finally feeling better, then they can go back to the folders for the days that they missed and, and take care of stuff and I'll be more than willing to work with them. Um, and get them caught up. Like I said, the biggest thing though is communication is key. So if they could just stay in contact with me, that would be awesome. If for some reason your student is really struggling in class, please encourage them to come get extra help during tutorials times. I have them posted right there Tuesday after school, uh, Wednesday and Thursday morning. Um, if they forget those, I'll have them posted outside my classroom. I also have them posted in that course folder um, or course information folder in Schoology. And if none of those work, we can work something out to get them some extra help. Uh, make sure that you're checking grades in Home Access Center. You can set up alerts in Home Access Center to send you emails. I do that for my own kids, um, and it's really helpful because I don't actually have to log into Home Access Center every day. I just get an email if their grades drop below a certain percentage, um, and so I can just kind of keep up with it that way. Uh, remember that Hack or Home Access Center is going to be the actual grades. Um, School G has some grades in it, but not all of them. So make sure you're looking at Home Access Center for the up-to-date grades. If for some reason you need to contact me, please feel free to do that. Email is the best way. I typically respond within 24 hours. My conference period is 10-10, and that should say 10 to 10-55. 
And so during that time, if you need to call me or anything, we can take care of it during that time. Uh, students should assume responsibility for their own learning and check his or her own grades. I encourage you to check your child's grade in Midway's Home Access Center, but please also encourage your student to do the same and to speak with me first about any problems or questions that they may have. Uh, this puts the responsibility on them and fosters great communication skills uh, for moving forward in everyday life. I'm looking forward to a really great year. If you need anything, please feel free to contact me.